Welcome to this class on neuroscience of uh, human movement. In this class, we will discuss neuropsychiatric disorders arising out of basal ganglia dysfunction. So, slightly different from the regular classes that we see in which we usually limit our discussion to movements and dysfunction of movements. In this case, we are going to discuss psychiatric disorders. Right? We will take three examples of neuropsychiatric disorders obsessive compulsive disorder, Tourette syndrome and depression and discuss the possible role of basal ganglia in these uh, disorders. So, essentially the question is how does basal ganglia possibly cause or dysfunction of basal ganglia possibly cause this right. Let us remember that we discussed four independent loops of basal ganglia right. So, these are essentially the skeletomotor loop, the oculomotor loop the limbic loop and the executive or association loop. So, now if there is lesion in the executive or associative or if there is a lesion in the limbic loop and this leads to behavioral disorders, disorders of behavior right. So, uh, essentially, these are caused uh, due to lesions of non-motor basal ganglia thalamocortical circuits, right? So, it's because of uh, lesions in the anywhere in this loop, right? So, can be here, here, or it can be in the thalamocortical loop. It can be in the striatum, or it can be in the GP, GP, right? Uh, a lot of experimental evidence actually comes from the usage of the GABA receptor antagonist bicuculin right in basal ganglia circuits and uh, it has been shown that uh, in animal models injection of bicuculin in specific areas cause specific dysfunctions. So, if the injection is to the limbic part of the GP there are stereotypical movements. Whereas, if it is to the associative part there is hyperactivity. Abnormal movements are observed only when the injection is in motor areas. So, depending on uh, which part is affected then the response also varies. So, that means, if that particular part is lesion for whatever reason then uh, the response is going to vary according to the region that is lesioned okay, and the network part of the network that it forms. So, if it forms part of the uh, limbic circuitry then that is going to result in a specific neurobehavioral disorder. If uh, it forms part of the executive or associative uh, network then that is going to cause a specific behavioral disorder. So, and these two are not expected to be the same. If, if it of course, uh, forms part of the motor circuitry then it is going to uh, cause some motor disorder. So, one example of uh, behavioral disorders is uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. In this case, uh, people keep on doing something because uh, they never feel that they have done it enough number of times. Say for example, washing hands is a very common example that people keep on washing their hands every few minutes once the person has to wash their hands. So, they have an obsession to keep on doing this right. So, they are repeated actions. Like, uh, so, and this is something that they cannot uh, you know change you keep telling them hey this is not required this is some, something that they can change so easily it is not something that they can change so easily right. And so that means they have rigid behavioral patterns you would observe this um, uh, also among some of your classmates or uh, co-workers right. Some people do things only in the particular way they cannot do it in different way an extreme form of that is obsessive compulsive disorder. Right. We all have habits, we all uh, you know keep doing things in specific ways right. So, that is habit, but if you cannot do it in any other way right. So, if you do this at the uh, exclusion of other things and in such a way that it affects your normal life then that uh, becomes obsessive compulsive disorder and, and an extreme form of that becomes obsessive compulsive disorder right. So, again uh, what is basal ganglia's role in this? It is believed that this is caused due to 
compromised basal ganglia function in the sense that uh, the important role of basal ganglia in procedural learning right. Let us remember one thing some time ago we discussed the role of basal ganglia in learning right. So, we said that uh, a specific part of basal ganglia plays a role in uh, acquisition of uh, tasks whereas, uh, a different part of basal ganglia plays a role in doing well practiced or well learnt motor tasks this is what we discussed some time ago. So, that means, basal ganglia is a procedural learning engine. So, it is learning procedures not just input output relationships abstract representations. So, this is differentiated from factual learning right. So, so remembering some facts and figures and numbers that is different from remembering a procedure. So, essentially even in the motor function right even in motor function basal ganglia is involved in procedural learning. If this procedural learning is compromised in the limbic or associative area or limbic or executive area then what happens is you have a disorder such as OCD that develops right and imaging is very useful in understanding how uh, this disease uh, affects or which particular area of the basal ganglia is uh, active or abnormal or showing abnormal activation during specific activity. It turns out that uh, ventral striatum has been implicated specifically nuclear accumbens and uh, ventromedial caudate nucleus have been uh, implicated. In other words, these two regions show abnormal activation when compared with you know uh, age matched controls for example, right. And it turns out what is more interesting is that, uh, that uh, surgical removal or stimulation of uh, specific regions right anterior limb of the internal capsule and ventral striatum seem to help these patients to overcome these symptoms. That means, that these uh, particular uh, uh, regions right these particular regions are the ones that are malfunctioning or are at least forming an important part of the network that is responsible for this particular function right. So, this is a uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. Then there is Tourette syndrome of course, you might have seen this movie Hitchkey right. Uh, the recent Hindi movie on uh, this particular syndrome, where uh, this lady Rani Mukherjee she performs this uh, ta, 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 like that frequently, which uh, makes it uh, socially awkward and also she wants to be a teacher. So, it is a very difficult situation, um, you have uh, some sort of uh, you know uh, expression disability, this is uh, causing vocal tics right. So, motor or vocal tics that are similar to OCD. So, there is obsessive compulsive necessity for these people to do this tics ta, 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 ta. she also does something like cha, 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 cha like. In the case of OCD the person has to wash the hands or do something else in this case the person has to keep on doing this uh, vocal tics right. So, and of course, the story is something I, I actually have not seen the movie you should see it if you are interested, but you should also read about it if you are interested. So, these vocal tics are probably due to dysfunction of basal ganglia. How do you know that uh, this is due to basal ganglia dysfunction? Well, it turns out that uh, using dopamine receptor blockers reduces tics in many cases specific regions of basal ganglia that are not uh, functioning well that cause this kind of vocal tics uh, typical of Tourette syndrome right. And some treatments have been attempted uh, chronic stimulation of limbic and motor circuits and, and uh, at the thalamus and the pallidal levels seem to help these patients. How do you stimulate chronically? Well, of course, this is a surgical procedure. So, this involves implanting electrodes in particular regions of the basal ganglia and using a pacemaker kind of device right. So, this is a pacemaker kind of device that continuously stimulates the uh, specific regions and ensures that the person does not produce this unwanted undesirable socially awkward uh, takes right. So, 
again uh, this is just a uh, therapy uh, this is just a therapeutic approach that is coming up uh, we'll have to wait and see how effective are uh, this is or uh, uh, if there what are the other effects that this brings in right another disorder is depression in this case what the person has is low mood low self esteem what normally is supposed to help a person enjoy right this is not uh, interesting for these people. So, uh, activities that are enjoyable are not of interest to people with depression in general low energy and they have pain for no particular reason. So, pain without a clear cause actually this also causes other physical disorders from time to time. Um, what causes depression? Actually that is the billion dollar if not a zillion dollar question because we do not understand the pathophysiology of depression. So, treatment methods are limited and the available treatment methods come with you know baggages come with side effects. So, it is not clear what uh, this uh, disorder is and the exact role of basal ganglia in this is also not completely understood. However, it is believed that uh, basal ganglia must form an important part or at least some role in disorders such as depression right. So, this is something that is an open question for the future. So, we need to continue our research and understand why depression is caused and what is the approach towards treatment of depression. So, in summary uh, what we have seen is that uh, neuropsychiatric disorders of basal ganglia are due to dysfunction of specific circuitry in the non motor regions right. So, are uh, lesions of the non motor regions of the basal ganglia thalamocortical circuits right. We saw some examples we saw obsessive compulsive disorder uh, which uh, make people to engage in rigid behavior and keep repeating specific tasks for no particular reason. Tourette syndrome uh, where uh, the person uh, produces uh, vocal tics such as th 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 uh, due to um, uh, reason similar to obsessive compulsive uh, disorder right and depression it is believed that basal ganglia must play some role in uh, uh, depression although it is not clear what exactly that role is. So, with this we come to the end of this lecture thank you very much for your attention.